the easiest way to understand the earth element is if we look out into nature um, and look at the soil and the earth itself. So when we grow our food, anything that's just above or just below um, the soil is really our soil and our center, which is our, I always like to compare it to our belly button and everything just below and above that. So mm -hmm. the importance of our core physically, um, emotionally, mentally, energetically is really the, the core. And that is not just unique to TCM. You see that in Ayurveda, you see it in Japanese culture. They even have, you know, certain words for um, this element. Um, and it's funny because in Chinese there is words, but they're, they're so much more powerful in other <laughs> languages. If, I, if you may allow me to, to bring them in, things like Hara in Japanese or yeah. Agni in Ayurveda, like this digestive fire, they're really short, concise words. And in Chinese, we don't really have anything <laughs> with which is one word or like a short phrase. So, um, you know, we have like spleen chi and um, digestion and, you know, spleen stomach, organs uh, or organ pair, but it's not as sexy as hara or agni, <laughs> in my opinion. No, I mean, and I, like I, I'm with you on there. Like, um, Tani's got a big book at home called um, Hara Diagnostics. And, mm. um, you know, grow, growing up with my dad, you know, doing, um, in a black belt in Japanese jujitsu, we talked about the hara regularly. So I'm I'm much more connected there. But I guess it 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 shows the um the translation. I mean, you're talking about in in native, you know, in, in um native tongue. But even for me, relating to spleen, mm. um, uh, straight away, you know, it, it 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 taps into my you know Western desire to relate to anatomical Gray's anatomy, separate, oh, that's that organ, yeah. um, maybe spleen, pancreas, organ, mm -hmm. physical organ, and which it is representative, representative of, of what we are talking about, but so not, like it, it takes away everything as you're, as you're saying, this, it's so much more and actually yeah. relating to the reality of it. It's, it's hard when you're just saying, you know, the spleen chi and doesn't represent the, you know, the, well, the etheric reality mm -hmm. that it is. And I think that is important for us you know I'm like a few people have always told me like never just say spleen say spleen mm -hmm. soil say yeah. spleen soil so that you don't get lost in that you know in that yep. mental in that mental trap not that it's bad to obviously go there at times and bringing up soil I think is another one Tani and I always have a little fun back and forth about <laughs> about this because for me it's it's soil the element of soil mm -hmm. because the element of earth goes into a larger concept of mm. Pachamama, yep. you know, like my, which is um, not a bad thing necessarily, but it's so impractical, I find, when relating yep. to, the, um, to the earth soil within yourself and doesn't play mm. into the an analogy or mm -hmm. metaphor or story that, you know, I think is more captured in soil. You can relate soil and water and soil and metal a little mm -hmm. bit easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I know that we're both big fans of nature and, you know, in Taoist philosophy and wisdom, it's always about that internal and external. So when we start to see as the soil, and you see that now well, in the last, I don't know, five to eight years as in the Western wellness world, this, you know, this huge um, growth in, in talking about the microbiome and, and the soil and food and, and I mean, the Chinese wisdom of the earth element, soil element has been there all along. If you don't have a, a strong soil earth element, um, that's, that's it. Your health um, won't be balanced. It's very hard to, to find balance in other elements if this element isn't uh, strong. And of course, the digestion is the key part. It's, there's, there's an aspect bringing you bringing up Agni is is one that yeah it is beautiful to bring that Agni fire in to the into the fold because quite often people won't relate that fire with mm. with the soil but mm -hmm. you know yet you know like as I kind of I you know I think I've said quite a few times on the podcast maybe even in the same in in, in chats with you how that the kidneys are kind of like the pilot light mm -hmm. for that light for that fire of the you know, that fire of digestion being the spleen to be able to be turned on, but it is that mm -hmm. spleen that is the actual fire that, yep. that sits under the pot that is the stomach, yep. um, which I know people are like, well, hang on, no, isn't it soil and not fire? It's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're talking about a yang function of that of that soil chi, you know, mm. and so it just it, it keeps on, the goalposts keep on moving, but that's again, the beautiful thing is staying slippery because, you know, there is no goalpost when it comes to health. There is no balance. You've got yeah. to be able to dance in that harmony. Um, 
But then Hara, you bring up as well, because the way my dad talked to me about my Hara, you know, relating somewhat to like lower Dantian, um, es, you know, like S kind of like, you know, if not exactly that reality in the body. But mm-hmm. he also always referred to it as the center of my universe. Mm. So I'd orient myself around that core, as you mm-hmm. brought up, which is something I've, I guess I've just found myself not not feeling when I do tap into my, um that, that spleen soil chi Mm -hmm. and I'm like oh wow like but of course you know that it is that that earth element that sits at the core of all the others and is the center of the universe that yeah there's an orientation around it yeah it was I mean like I just wanted to kind of like give my hat to that and bringing that up because that 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 really helps me like you know get a clearer picture on what we're actually talking about here with spleen Mm mm-hmm yeah, and and I would I may just mention the belly button because you know when when I'm teaching kids and we draw, you know that we're trying to learn the elements or, or apply them. If we we all even as adults, you know, we start with our that middle line. That's the middle line of the earth, or so on. That's where we're starting. Especially when we're going to dive into food later in this podcast, I'll be talking a lot about that middle line. Um, and suitable foods because it, it always just it's very logical if we look at if we break it down the five elements are really logical and um this element is very easy to uh interpret in terms of foods um and the energies purely by understanding that that middle middle line middle ground um and therefore all the issues that we we have um with digestion and um or imbalances, I, I call them digestive imbalances. So there's plenty. Um, people will be very familiar with, you know, IBS and diarrhea and bloating and all of that. And you go to a, an acupuncturist or a TCM doctor and they'll be like, oh, you know, usually they'll say something along the lines of spleen chi. Um, and people go, what, what's that? Um, but you can definitely eat uh, really nourishing foods to, to build that. And it's something that um, I love uh, building and we can we can talk about that um, mm. as well 